everybody and welcome. My name is Anna Lurie and my company is Sparkles of Love. And today I'd like to do a short video and talk about some of the energies. Right now it's October 2021. So even if you're listening to this one to two years in the future, it will really still apply. And you've been hearing a lot about the Great Awakening. Some people call it Ascension. There's all kinds of different terminology. But basically, the energies on planet Earth that are coming down to the Earth from source, from heaven, from above, whatever you want to call it, from across the veil, are a much higher frequency than they've ever been before on planet Earth. So what does that mean for you as an individual human? So what it actually means is that the frequency that we live in is changing on planet Earth. The vibrations that are coming forth are higher, higher frequencies. So if you look at something like the love or above scale, and there's all kinds of different names, but it's a vibrational scale that shows you emotional vibrations where something like shame and guilt are quite low on the scale. Love is set, I think, at 500. Joy is way above that. Peace is above it. Um, sadness is below it. Neutrality is below it. So there's all these numbers that rate the vibration of emotional states. And it's kind of like if you feel really sad or you're feeling guilty or shameful about something, you feel heavy in your body and you don't feel good. But when you feel peaceful and joyful, you feel lighter. So that's sort of side note, short side note. So as these higher frequencies come down onto planet Earth, what happens for um, everyone, whether you're awake or aware or not, is these higher frequencies are coming into your energetic field, into your physical body, into your auric fields. And what this means is that everything that is dense or not of the light or not serving you starts to move. So it's a little bit like if you had some um, mud that had formed and it's all hard and caked and you're trying to get it out of a container, you might have to take a hammer and or a chisel and break it up to get all the pieces out. Well, in essence, what's happening is the new frequencies coming onto the planet are like a really gentle hammer. It's dislodging all of this old density that you're holding in your physical field and in your um, auric field. So what this will mean for you is that on a human level, you may be experiencing irritation and you don't even know why. You may feel really tired for, again, for no apparent reason. You may feel out of sorts and you may feel that some of your old stuff is coming up things that you thought you had healed or things that maybe you haven't dealt with and so during this time it's really important to be aware of what's coming up it's really intent important to follow your body you may need more sleep obviously you really need to drink lots and lots of purified water because what happens is that you're releasing and so your body needs more um, lubrication, more fresh water. So when I say purified water, what I mean is without chemicals. So you um, may find that you feel better when you get out into nature and, and that happens for many of us. You want to find some time to do some things that you know make you happy, that make you smile because you want to find balance in all this. You can be overwhelmed by these energies and they're really powerful and they're for our, our best eventually. But until then, sometimes they can just seem a little too much. You can always call on your MAP healing team, your medical assistance program, that, that team that you've had since you were born, and ask them you know, to help you adjust. But the most important thing to do is to really continue to do your own clearing, to release old beliefs, to deal with old hurts and emotions and release them so that 
you can vibrate higher so that this energy coming in is easier on your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual body. At the end of the day, this is great. This is what we've been waiting for. It is that change, that higher frequency coming down for us, for Mother Gaia, for everything on planet Earth. It's all part of the shift and the awakening. And what happens with all of this is the higher you can vibrate, the easier it is to bring in source energy, the easier it is to bring in the energies and the connection and the messages from your highest self, from the parts of yourself that are all knowing, that are beyond the veil right now. So the more you can do this, the easier it will get the more that you can vibrate higher by doing things that bring you joy or stay in those emotions that are love or above, uh, it will make your life easier. It will make it more enjoyable in these challenging times. So I hope this helps. I look forward to talking to you again. Bye for now. I'm Anna Larai with Sparkles of Love.